This is the Weather Channel. Girls like girls podcast. <laughs> so you wanna, okay. wanna talk about the one v one she was trying to? Yeah. Well, okay. So wait, hold on. Okay. Wait, you hoop too? Yeah. If you, we should. Yeah, we could like get mic'd up one day and just hoop it. You know. Ah, uh, y'all don't want. <laughs> okay, find a two v one. I want all the smoke. <laughs> I want all of the smoke. <laughs> she wants all of it. So you're 18. Yeah. God damn, and you, you fucking got the prime of COVID. So okay, you're eight, you're gonna be 19 this year. Yeah. In May. How does it make you feel? Old, like I don't know. Duh. Like, I, look at, I still feel like like Stop. it's not old, old, but I feel like I'm still like stuck, like when I was like 15 when COVID hit, and I didn't really like get my full like high school experience, but. That's true. You kind of fucked up. Yeah. Your but now I'm just like, whatever, like, bring on 19 and 20 and the rest of them and kind of just, like, go with the flow with it. It's really all I can do. Do you look forward to, like, being 21? Yes or no? Because only because, like, some of the 21 Activity Plus, I already did that when I was, like, 15, 16, like, just being dumb. But I think, like, being able to, like, actually, like, go into bars and stuff, like, yeah. Probably yeah. that's probably, like, the only thing. And, like, buying liquor. Like, just slapping the ID on, like, the freaking counter and saying, yeah, yeah. 21. So you like to drink? No. I hate alcohol. <laughs> but I hate it. But she's going to go get some. Yeah. I'll give it to somebody else, but I'll go get you it. You could I'll put like, it yeah, on ours it. right yeah, here. Yeah, put it on our cart here. Yeah, I'll bring one for yeah. the cart. I'll sign my name on it, too. <laughs> so. Yeah. so, TikTok, um, did, why'd you start, like, consistently posting on tiktok is that something like you want to i think it's because eventually like like, eventually like do do as like career a career i wanted to but it took me like so long to get it to where i like lost the motivation for it and i was like you know what like if i hit 100k i hit like i hit 100k that's that but ever since like like i don't know like freshman year like i always had a desire to be like you know what i want to be famous like i want to be famous and when i seen i was getting clout i was like okay like let me do something with it at that time, like, YouTube was really big. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. I got on the wave with YouTube. Then it started dying. And TikTok, I mean, Instagram, like, started becoming a wave. So then I was like, okay, let me get on that. Then that started dying. And then that's when TikTok came on. And I'm not even going to lie. I used to bag on TikTok. What? Like, mm-hmm. I used to be like, who uses that app? Because like, <laughs> oh. I used to use, like, Musical.ly, like, when I was, like, really, really young. So I was like, who uses that? I've heard of that. I've heard of that. I was like, who uses that? Like, we're all grown. Like, what are you doing? And, like, I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm going to download it. And then ever since then, I've just been, like, consistent with it. It took me, like, a fat minute, though, like, four years. Four years just to hit 100K. Damn. Damn that's I, crazy. Damn, TikTok's been around for four years? I think so. <laughs> I feel like it was, it's been, like, Like, two. maybe, yeah, because 2019 is when I got it. And, like, December of 2022 is when, like, I hit 100K. So is that four years? Did I count right? Or is that, like, three you passed high school, so it's, yeah. you know, it's whatever you want it to be. Oh, um, yeah. man, that's that's a trip. So, like, how did what was like the video that went viral for you on TikTok, or like what is it that did it for you to go viral? Yeah, period. You, in the I very think beginning? I used to like do rap videos, so a lot of people knew oh, me from really? that. But like, I didn't like them. Like, if I were to go back and listen to them, I'd be like, "What are you talking about? Like, you've never been through that. Like, shut okay. up." Like, yeah, yeah. And so a lot of people remember me from that. And when they found my TikTok, like, obviously I wasn't making music on there, but they put two and two together. They're like, oh, this is where she went. Like, this is why mm-hmm. she hasn't been posting. But it was kind of more of, like, matching songs with, like, situations. Like, kind of what people do now. Um, I'll be honest, a lot of my clout definitely came from, like, my little sister. Like, if I, yeah. Like, she had me, like, blow up, like, a lot. Like, what? Were you just, like, playing around? It was literally, like, just taking her for a walk. And I literally captioned it. I was like, oh, like, when your sister wakes you up to take her for a walk. Literally. <laughs> and it got, like, 10 million views. Oh, but those videos aren't up anymore, huh? I took it down. I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I was just, like, I don't want to be known for just, like, her. Oh, okay, like, I want okay. a spotlight. But I got you. Because I was wondering. I was trying to go through it. And I was like, bro, where where are the videos? Yeah, a lot yeah, of I went to your profile too. It was like ten posts. I'm like, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Like I started taking down too because I realized like what I want to be when I get older. Like eventually, like I'm gonna have to take all that stuff down only because like it doesn't give me a bad image, but I don't want my image to be that. If that makes sense. I feel that. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of why like I don't have as much videos on there anymore. And that's because you want to go into the real estate yeah. 
space i know need a new house let me know give me <laughs> already like, like i know give me like a year or two though just and just then let me know well that's interesting i i'm still trying to <sighs> take in how young you are <laughs> oh my God. Baby face. Do I look like older? Yes. Is it? No, no, I don't look. I look younger. <laughs> Which yeah, one is it? You look your age. age. Yeah, you look I look okay. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, have you have you came out? Yeah, to your family. Yeah. yeah. Are you Hispanic? Yeah. How do they take it? Well, if you want to know the real story, like oh, yeah, the real the real story. We don't want <laughs> okay. no fake story around okay. here. So it was my seventh grade summer going into eighth grade. And if my cousin sees this, like, please don't get offended by it. Like now that I look back at it, like I'm thankful that like she blurted it out because oh, I don't gosh. think I don't think I would have like been able to come out on my own. Like I think I it would have took me till like forever. Okay. So like there was um there was literally like she was literally just a friend. Like I kid you not, there was nothing going on. But I had the conversation with them about, like, oh, like, I think I like girls. So to them, at that time, any girl I was talking to was Bella likes her. Bella oh, likes her. Shit. And I was like, bro. But my mom, like, took away, like, all our electronics that summer because we kept, like, staying on them all night and sleeping all day. So they had went to the store, and I, like, stood home. And I was, like, FaceTiming my friend or whatever. Like You're FaceTiming your friend in seventh grade? That's crazy. So iPhone's been around Damn. for that long. <laughs> <laughs> they come back. And they're hanging out, and they're, like, wondering, like, why I'm not coming out of the room. And I don't know. I was just, like, I didn't want to come out. Like, so they come in, and they're, like, why are you always on, like, the phone with that girl? Da, 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 da. And I, like, mind you, this was only, like, my third time FaceTiming her after, like, the whole summer. Like, we wasn't even, like, talking like that. It was nothing even like that. And they went ahead, and my mom, like, they got upset, and they went, and they, like, told my mom, like, Bella's not talking to us, da, da, da. So it was that night, like, we were all, like, sitting there. And my grandma was kind of just like, why aren't you not hanging out with them? Da, da, da. And, like, my cousin was, like, upset. Like, I was not, like, really answering. So she was all like, we don't know what's going on with her. Like, she doesn't even know if she likes girls. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, like. And I just remember, like, crying. Like, I didn't even say anything. I just started crying. And then my grandma was like, is this true? And my mom was like, is this true? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I think it's because I was barely, like, becoming who I was, so I didn't know, like, what to say. Like, it was a struggle, like, eighth grade. Like, I finally got my first pair of, like, boy clothes. And it was just, like, they were, like, looking at me. Like, if I, like, just got, like, a freaking facial or something. Like, they're just, like, dead staring. And I was, like, it's comfortable. Like, I like it. And then they seen me, like, progress more and more. Like, the way I changed my style. Like, the way I did my hair. Getting, like, my undercut. Like, my sides cut. And they were just, like, oh, like she's gay and i was like yeah like you should have been on this like we literally told you what gave you like the courage to like do that to cut like my hair yeah cut your hair like start dressing like that do do whatever the fuck you wanted to do <laughs> i think because i was like okay like if they know like what's the point of even trying to hide it anymore like what's the point of trying to sneak around the bush or like peek around the bush if i know like i'm comfortable with who i'm with if that makes sense so i like would go shopping with my mom and they'd be very like oh like do you want this this you know we go to the girl side and I'd kind of like lean to the boy side a little bit yeah. and then I noticed like little by little like she started buying like me clothes and then when I got to the age where I could buy my own clothes that's like when the wardrobe like all changed yeah. and then cutting my hair it was not even gonna lie it was very like intrusive I was just like you know what like let me embrace that I'm gay and I was just like let me just go get this chopped real quick and I and I went and I did it the cut the cut that's, is just that's like that's brave that's brave as fuck <laughs> everybody knows once you see the cut they be like she can <laughs> yes <laughs> but it's very it's very hard to keep up with i think like some days i regret it i'm just like oh my god i'm like i don't want this anymore i was like but i don't i don't have the time to grow it out like i, don't, I was gonna say how is that gonna grow out? like what, eventually you're probably gonna grow it out i don't know to be honest i don't know if I'm gonna you cut your like all your hair i was going to at one point and then my best friend kind of stopped me and she was like you'd be ugly as fuck if you cut your hair <laughs> i was like okay i was like guess i won't cut my hair i was like i'll leave it how it is but there was a point in time where i wanted to cut it short like really short but then now that i have i did cut it like right here like during covid i was like you know what fuck this and i wouldn't cut it and then i look back at that and i'm like that's ugly as fuck why did i do that 
my in fifth grade my hair was oh, no, no no four something my hair was to right here yeah like dora, looks <laughs> dora yes like big time i fucking hated it so bad because like i had a unibrow at the same time so, I. so i look like weird as fuck <laughs> and like i was in that weird growing stage that was probably like that was my ugly duckling stage for sure <laughs> I feel like everyone has that little stage because I used to have that too. I didn't start doing my eyebrows to like sixth grade. Yeah, same. I think. Well, wish I can say that. <laughs> well, at least you don't grow hair right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool because by the time I'm like 50, I might not even have <laughs> eyebrows. How fucking thin my shit's are. Really thin. Um, I seen a video of you losing a friend. Is that a friend? Is that a friend? Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's crazy because that was that was like a really viral yeah. story. Yeah, the yeah. the case itself was very very big, and I think it definitely like impacted like all of us like. And I'm like glad that and I'm not like like I'm not saying like oh my god why'd you bring it up but I'm kind of just like, I'm glad I'm in the point of life like where I'm able to like actually talk about it to like if someone were to bring it up like I'm not sitting here and I don't like get choked up. But that was definitely, like, a case that hit, like, all of us. Like, uh, like her parents, like, all her friends, like, anybody who was just close with her in general. Because she was, she was a sweet soul. Like, I could sit here and talk about that girl for, like, hours. But, yeah, that it's just, it was one of those things that I could say definitely also, like, made me the person who I am today. Because that took a lot, a lot of anger out of me. Like, that made me mad for like weeks like months like where it's just I was a mad person and I did and I said hurtful things to like people that I love like people that I care about and I regret it like I still like I have do you guys journal like by any chance I do <laughs> I try <laughs> um, I try I really I really do I like the idea of it though I like yeah I literally like have like pages of pages of just like just regret like saying those things and just being the way that I was acting because it really like it chewed my ass in the end like it really like got to me in the end and it's like it wasn't like even though yes I had a reason like for lashing out sometimes but it was also like my fault for not speaking about it like I was like say if I was having a bad day and I was just like damn bro like I miss her and then like someone came up to me and asked me like hey like I miss you like come over whatever I'm like like leave me alone like I don't want to talk to you like that and that stuff like it just it changes you like I could be like 100 death really just it does change you but I just now I'm like looking at it like I'm thankful for every moment like I had with her like I'm thankful for like all the stuff we did like for being in our quince I don't know if you guys seen that but and it's just I don't know like she's definitely has a big like part of me I guess still that I'm still not like fully over like I don't know I like I've learned like death is never it's very how do you oh my god what's the word yeah and it's like you're never gonna be completely over it or completely like get closure from it if that makes sense i'm the same way i'm the same way when it comes like when i get mad or no when when something sad happens i get mad yeah instead of like feeling it i feel it more with like anger and then i i'm mad at everybody and no one knows why i'm mad at them yeah i'll talk about it but i'm not really open about it yeah i'm like actually surprising myself that i was actually like open about that because the last time like i got asked that like i was very like "Eh." but i think like her case is so viral and like everyone has their own stories of her like i don't think it's not like a bad thing to share like what they have are you comfortable talking about it yeah i'm I'm, like i'm i'm i don't know like the whole story so i can't really say okay this happened this happened this happened but um an altercation uh, altercation is that like the word yeah yeah, yeah yeah altercation happened and it just led to like her like getting shot mm. and the girl like is still like on the run like she still hasn't got her justice served and there's rumors like oh like she's in mexico da, 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 da. but i don't know like a lot about it only because i don't know i just like i like refuse to read but like if you literally like go to like let me see it was funny because while I was growing, like, my Instagram, like, so was she. So, like, she would, like, the day, like, she passed me, like, I remember her telling me, like, I passed Bella, like, I passed Bella. Like, <laughs> and that's, like, that's probably, like, my favorite, like, vivid memory I have. Wow, that's crazy. See, so, like, what I what I had heard on the news was, like, it was, like, a 
drive by or some shit. There was like a totally different fucking story of it. And then different things started it's to come definitely out. Definitely like that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Like we won't know the full story until like Lindsay's actually caught. Right. And that's like sad to say and it's just like there's days where I'm just like, How the fuck like is this girl still on the run? Like how like how does this even make sense? But like nobody nobody will ever know the full story until she's caught. So we're kind of just like they her parents just like have like the pieces or whatever and this is kind of like what they were given to them like this 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 like might have happened the boys that were involved though they were caught they were caught yeah they didn't say what it was i don't i don't know if they had like their trial yet or anything because there haven't been like really updates just i'm sure it's it's probably still ongoing yeah, yeah just like multiple like oh like she's on the loose like bond like here's a bond out like if you catch her like this is how much you get she it got so big to where like the 48 hours channel there is a guy that does like 15 second like videos of like who needs to get um who needs to get caught yeah and she made it on there Mm. damn it's crazy it's definitely i feel like a reason why you're so because it's it's a hardship for sure that you have to learn how to i wouldn't say swallow but Live with. It, yeah, it's just one of those things where you're just like, dang, you know, and it it makes you be grateful with, with life, with your life, like, you know, value everybody that's in your life, because... I was going to say, especially friends, like... Yeah, that one, yeah, that was the biggest more. lesson, was, like, don't take any, like, friendship or anybody you meet, like, for granted. Like, always be thankful for, like, who you have. Like, whether you talk to them now, whether you talk to them never, like, everyone, like, has an important lesson in your life right toxic girls oh god have you ran into into any of those i'll be honest i was one of them oh, so i can't oh, okay. you know, let's just get oh, straight yeah, to it hey she said i had hoes earlier <laughs> yeah. so you know she's know. toxic <laughs> you said um i was gonna ask you what was the most toxic thing that happened to you but since you were the toxic one what was the most toxic thing you did to someone she not gonna say. <laughs> I think, okay, this is gonna sound so stupid, and I feel so dumb for putting myself on blast, like for this, like especially. But it's like, if I'm gonna be real with myself, I better like might as well be real with everybody else. But like, I used to have like this habit of just like lying, like okay. over okay. over like stupid shit. Like I thought I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. I was, I was like, like, girl, what you do? I shit. know. I was, no. Like, what, like oh my god like now that, but i was i was really young but still that doesn't give me like an excuse or whatever like i'd be going to walmart oh where'd you go dutch <laughs> why 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 oh like i like i sit there like i even journaled about it like a few weeks ago too like i was like why do i lie like like i didn't understand it at the time but i just i grew up like always lying because they were strict yeah my parents were extremely strict this is how i know because <laughs> that's I put two and two together. <laughs> Anyways, go on. Um, she's like a well, white lie. Like, not anymore. But when I met her, sometimes she was so like, white mean- lie. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I made her a fucking, I made cookies or something. Cinnamon rolls. Yeah, cinnamon rolls. I said, she made cinnamon rolls. I said, she gave me one. I ate it. And I said, it's burnt at the bottom. Um, Did you burn it? And she said, no, no. I didn't burn Bro, it. Oh, that's <laughs> literally said, how it's did. burnt. Me, like, and then, the oven did. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, those type of things. But it, it stems from her having to lie when, not have to lie, but, you know, for her parents because she wanted to go do stuff or whatever. Like, that's where it comes down to. And I'm like, bro, you, you could just say you burnt that. Yeah, I would definitely say that I could be straight about things. Like, if I know something, I'll be like, yeah, I found this out. This is how I found it out. This is when I found it out. Like, oh, that's, see, that's telling too much truth. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop lying, but it, it was really bad. I could say that's one toxic trait that I had. I want I want to tell you a story that what got me to stop lying. Please. Like, so I was like, I mean, I'm not saying I've never told a lie after this, but, you know, the <laughs> the main thing, like, I really stopped lying. Um, I was like eight. And my mom was married to this guy who he was like a manager for this car dealership. So he had all the like numbers for all the like cars and what he was making and stuff like accountant type board whiteboard and it had all the important shit on there and i was eight 
and i was in the office like erased the shit. i bro i erased <laughs> the whole board and like oh, i was going and i erased that whole shit and then i went back into like the cubicle where i was supposed to like be doing homework and then my mom comes in and she's like leslie come here and i was like oh fuck like i already knew and she was like I'm black oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> bro it still smelled like fresh like that spray and she was like what happened to the whiteboard and i was like i don't know and she was like you did this and i was like no i didn't she was like you're the only one in the office she's like you did it it still smells fresh like whereas like this is his name is jonathan they're like all his stuff is gone now he wrote it down and i was like damn bro my mom took me to the bathroom and she put me in the fucking uh stall and she whooped my ass like good like six hits like bare ass like oh, that shit was smacking I was, she was like tell the truth and i was like no no and then she was like just say i'll stop hitting you and i was like all right okay, i was okay. like i did it and then she was like ah oh, thank you and then like <laughs> hugged me oh i broke it off me <laughs> that's that day i'll never forget it. that's like, love <laughs> she spanked your ass and then and then she gave you a hug after <laughs> Can bipolar and shit. Wait, wait, I remember my mom, <laughs> my mom's like slap, like pimp slapped the fuck out of me one time. Like, she sent me to. Do you remember like back in the day, you used to buy those. You probably don't know. They used, they used to buy those uh cards to call to Mexico. You used to scratch the number on the back. Oh shit! Do you, you know? got the wrong. Do you do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, it was like a long distance call, and then like. You'd buy like a fifteen minute card or like a thirty minute call or okay. an hour or whatever. So we used to have this lady. We used to live in an apartments, and the lady, she was like, "Go buy, you know, two cards from the lady." And it was like ten dollars each. She had given me a twenty. <laughs> so I fucking went to go buy the cards and came back, and I pocketed the twenty. I never even damn fucking, the whole I didn't thing? even go knock nothing. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck, I'm about to have a good ass week at school." Like <laughs> lunch on me, and she was like whatever like you know i showered and she was like oh where's the cards and i was like um the lady's gonna bring them to you like later <laughs> she said and she was like oh all right so she calls the lady and mm -hmm. the lady's like your daughter never came mm -hmm. and so whatever she's like on the phone with her she's like fucking looking at me like like you're about to get it type <laughs> shit so uh yeah she fucking was like where's the money and I was like, I told you, I went to the lady's house. She said she was going to bring him later. It was a whole 20. <laughs> a whole 20. She said, bah, like, Damn, fucking, back like, in. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Did she have a ring on? Nah. Oh, okay. That shit was bad enough because her hand was wet. She was right. doing dishes. <laughs> oh, shit. So I was like, fuck. I remember, like, my whole mouth just felt, like, hot. Shit was numb. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Like, I just, i never forget that day. Never lied to my mom again. Ever. Like, ever. Okay. See, see the shit that works. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> All right, what? You know the love languages? Love. Like, like all of them. Um, physical touch, words of affirmation, acts of service. Isn't there like two more? Yes. Um. Is, is gift, gift giving? Yes. Gift giving and quality time. Quality time. <laughs> yeah, yeah quality so time fun. uh how do you like to be loved i like words of affirmation like big time that and quality time i like i've learned quality time is also like another one of mine okay like what like oh you look nice today yeah just little stuff like that like i don't know <laughs> that stuff is just like it's clearly not me <laughs> <laughs> that stuff like is just very like like, I don't know, like, noticing, like, say if I, like, go get my eyebrows done or go get a haircut, like, oh, my God, like, it looks good. Like, you know, just stuff like that. I just, I really enjoy. And, like, oh, like, I've seen, like, you had, like, a hard week. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, da -da -da. you know, like, just little, little okay. shit. Okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, does that also count as um, reassurance? To me? The same shit? Yeah. Or, like, do you think it does? Or, like, are you asking me, like, does it, like. Do you also like to be reassured? Yeah, I did. Like, only when I ask about something or if you could see, like, I'm concerned about something. Like, say, like, oh, like, you meet, like, this new friend. And I'm just like, oh, like, new friend. <laughs> who that? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, no, like, this is who they are. Like, you know, this is what we talk about. Like, and that's that. Then I'm like, all right, cool. And if, like, you tell me what you tell me, then I, like, 
I'm learning to like trust you, like fully give you like my full trust. Like if you're telling me they're just a friend, all right, like I believe you, like they're just a friend. Yeah. Right. And then quality time, honestly, like whether it's movies, like going to the mall, like going to just like wash my car, like I don't know, quality time's like been like a big one for me. If that makes sense, yeah. Are you can you just like go do anything? Yeah. Like you go sit on top of a mountain. Yeah. Or like do whatever. Like even if I'm just like laying there on TikTok. And like you, someone's just you right there watching it with me. Yeah, that is not quality time. <laughs> um, is there anything you want to leave on the show for the people out there? Um, hmm. it can be motivational, gayful. gayful. <laughs> That's a new one. I guess just knowing, like, from hearing, like, I like took from this podcast that it was a lot about like growth, like definitely growth and healing, and like how we look at like situations different and that like really taught me that everybody like thinks differently and like nobody's like actually perfect and like healing is never going to be linear like no matter what you do like there's like some stuff like you guys said that I'm like damn like I could actually take that with me into the future you know so I guess that's like one I guess that's what I have to say Nice. That's good. It was it was fun. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're it was welcome. super easy. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy, um, in a good way. We'll have to we'll have to get you back someday. We're gonna have a reunion and shit. A basketball game. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we got to do that. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. We wanna talk about that. We here. gotta do that. We gotta do that. <sighs> no, we got we got some good shit coming. Um, this year, 2022 was a real year for us. Um. In many different ways, but the biggest way was learning this podcast journey. Um, shout out to all the guests that have been on here. Shout out to all the people that have been watching us since day one. That shit really means something. Um, but, yeah, appreciate you coming out, taking the time out of your day. We wish you the very best and your realtor <laughs> desires. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep in touch with that. Because when, yeah. when we need a house. Yeah, yeah. You already know who to call and everything. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's always All good. Right, well, there you have it. Thank you again. Peace. Peace.